welcome to my vegan kitchen. So you guys keep asking for it, so I'm gonna bring it. Today we're doing jerk. That's right, jerk lentils. Let's do it guys, we're gonna do it now. is so simple and I try to keep it simple for you guys because I know a lot of you are transitioning vegans so you don't want anything complicated it's already complicated when we say vegan so we're gonna say plant-based and this is easy all right here's the lentils brown lentils so here we go come in let me show and if you guys notice I have everything set up so it's nice and easy you don't have to watch me chop onions today okay so I got everything here. We're gonna use, you can use any lentils, but I prefer green or brown lentils, not like the red lentils or anything like that, because we want it to look like meat when it's done. Kind of like, um, like ground meat when it's finished. All right, so here's my lentils. We're gonna do a cup of brown lentils. So let me measure that out. Place it in my strainer, because we're gonna rinse this well. All right, come in, see? Not like you guys don't know how to wash lentils, but just for the sake of things, watch me wash the lentils. All right, so I'm rinsing this really well because a lot of times it will have pieces of like, you know, uh, dirt and sediment and stuff like that in it. So we wash it really well. I'm gonna place it in a saucepan, all right? We're gonna place two cups of water. So let me grab some water. So that's one cup of lentils. And don't worry guys, I will have all the measurements for you down in the description box. So just kind of follow what I'm doing right now. You don't have to worry too much about the measurements. And ain't that crazy. This is exactly two cups of water. It's gonna be a good day guys, it's gonna be a good day. And I just spilled half of it <laughs> on the counter. All right. So we have our lentils. We're gonna head over here to the stove and I'm gonna turn the flame on. All right, let me grab my favorite bedded in bouillon. You know, I use that in everything. All right, so we will, we're just gonna grab a little bit. Again, I will have the measurements for you guys. And let's place it in our pot of lentils and water. It will dissolve. We're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes, 20, 20 to 30 minutes, or until the um, water completely absorbs and it just disappears, okay? All you're gonna be left with is lentils in the pot, and that's when you're gonna know it's cooked. So if you don't have a timer, once the water is all absorbed, it's done, it's ready. So we're gonna leave that back there to cook on medium. All right, so I have, and another saucepan, a nice heavy duty cast iron saucepan. I'm gonna turn that on and get that heated up. I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil to that saucepan. Again, I'll have the measurements for you. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Not yet, not yet. All right, we're gonna get that heated up. Head over here. This is what I got going on here. So I have some chopped onions yellow onions, I have half a yellow onion, and I have some carrots and red bell peppers. I know you're like, what kind of jerk is that? But you're gonna see, when it's done, it's gonna be really good. So we're allowing that pot to heat up, and then we're gonna add the onions, saute that down, let it get translucent before we add the other items. All right, let's add the onions to my skillet. The oil is hot. Let me go ahead and toss that in. You can come in, you can come in and take a look. Come to the kitchen and take a look, guys. All right, so I tossed it into my saucepan and it should cook maybe about two to three minutes. We're gonna give it and allow it to become translucent. All right, guys, let's check on the onions. So come in, come in, come in, take a look. The onions are just about translucent, but I have to check on those lentils. So let's give that a minute and let's take a look at the lentils. Come on in, let's go take a look at the lentils. See the lentils are cooking, the water is starting to evaporate and get absorbed. So let it keep cooking and we'll come back to that, okay? All right, now these onions. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add 
the carrots. And basically all I did was peel and dice, <laughs> I'm dropping food everywhere, peel and dice two carrots, two small carrots or one big carrot. And I'm adding that right to the pot and just kind of combining the ingredients. I'm gonna add jerk sauce, you know, my favorite. Now this you might want to, I'll leave a measurement of what I use. I usually use about a teaspoon. I like my food spicy. If you don't like spicy food, don't use as much. But I'm adding, come in, let the people see. I'm adding my jerk seasoning now and I'm just kind of combining it with everything in there. All right? All right, so now I'm gonna add some coconut milk. And again, I will have the measurements for you guys. So I've added some coconut milk. I'm gonna add some water. Okay. I'm gonna stir that up. Make sure all these ingredients are combined and that everything looks good. So this is what it should look like, guys. And remember, the um, carrots are cut really small, so they're probably going to cook the minute this starts to boil up again. So we're just going to try to get this back to a boil. All right, so I'm going to cover it up and just kind of get it back to a bubble, a boil, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to move forward. All right, guys, so let's check on the lentils. Come in and take a look. These lentils look like they're done. So that's what it should look like when it's finished. Ooh, I almost burnt myself. All right, all the moisture have come out of it. Those are nice and soft and tender, but not too soft. We still wanna have them firm. Now, let's go over here to, remember what we were cooking in the other sauce pot. Look, I remembered my glove. <laughs> Don't wanna get burned. We have the coconut milk and the um, carrots and stuff like that in this pot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the red pe bell peppers and I add them now let's turn this up a little bit I add them now because I didn't want them to be like really too mushy I still want the color and I still want a little bit of texture so I'm going to go ahead and add that in I'm going to turn this up a little bit more come in so let's see let them see what it looks like so this is what it looks like once the peppers are in we got to get that boiling again guys and now I am going to add the lentils Let's see if I could do that on the forehand. Okay, so now I'm just adding the lentils to our mixture. I'm gonna combine that all together. Get that all together mixed in. And see, that's why I put the carrots in there because it gives it a little bit of color because lentils by itself is not, it's not the prettiest thing unless you're using the red lentils. But with a little bit of carrots and the red peppers, it gives it some color. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes just to kind of let the flavors blend together. I'm gonna taste it and make sure it has enough seasoning and then we'll be able to plate it. Just like that, guys, it's, it's almost done. It's almost done. That was quick, right? All right, let me check this out. I'll give it a couple of minutes just to cook down a little bit and then we'll come back and taste it. All right, guys, I gave it a minute to cook. Come, let's take a look, let's take a look. So to the skeptics out there, because it has this color, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, that's nasty. Let me tell you, this tastes so good, but we're gonna adjust the color a little bit. I'm gonna add some liquid smoke, because remember, it's jerk, so we want it to kind of simulate like it was like in a drum, like a, you know, jerk drum, and it got, you know, that smoky flavor from it. But I'm also gonna add, and pull back a little bit for me, cameraman, let them see. If you guys know about Gravy Master, you know about Gravy Master. So the flavor is perfect. I don't need to add salt, I don't need to add pepper, nothing to it, but it needs some color. This is what I use. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this and just a little goes a long way. And that's gonna give me the color that I'm looking for. So there it is, I placed it in and it's just gonna brown it up a little bit so that it looks like ground meat or more like meat, right? And less like lentils. And that's it guys, you're pretty much done. You don't have to do much more to this. This doesn't add that much flavor. All it does is kind of change the color for me a little bit. All right, so let me get everything else together and we're gonna plate it up and taste it because I can smell it and it smells so good. 
All right, guys, let's plate this up. So I'm gonna start over here because earlier I wanted to have this with sweet potato and I'm gonna do um, American sweet potato. So it's the orange one, it's not the Japanese, the, uh, sorry, the Korean sweet potato that I normally do. So earlier I baked a couple of sweet potatoes. Look at that, look at all that, oh goodness. So if you don't need the sugar, you might wanna boil the potato and not um, actually bake the potato because it does produce more sugar. But I got my sweet potato right here. We just gotta bust that open just a little bit. Let me get a spoon because I wanna create like a little base for our food to sit in, right? So let's just open that up and there we go. Nice and open right now. And bam, I got me some planted. So I fried some planted. So let's go over here. Let's hop over here to the jerk lentils. Come in close, because I want y'all to see what this looks like. Here's the jerk lentils. We're gonna place that right on top of that potato, guys. Yes. Mm. This is a nice, hearty meal. Okay, guys? So, we're gonna place that right there. I got a couple of plantains. I'm gonna place them right on top because the sweetness of the plantains and the spiciness of the jerk, oh, this is gonna be so good. And then, you know, I gotta make it, always try to make it look pretty, right? We're just gonna place a couple of scallions or green onions right on top. And that is a meal, guys. That is a meal. So let me get a fork. Got my fork. So let's dive in. Look at all that goodness. So let's get some of this potato. All right. And I'm gonna save the plantain for afterwards. Let me taste this together first. All right, here we go. Oops, dropping some food. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I haven't said that in a while. This is really good. So let me explain what it tastes like. If you ever tasted jerk before, you know it has a warm, um, spicy, Caribbean flavor. And then the sweet potato is sweet also, but it's creamy and sweet. And then we have the plantain, mm, which is giving even more flavor. This meal right here, if you the food on the side of my mouth, give me a second. This meal right here is very filling. So it's loaded with protein. It's a complete meal right here. So you don't have to worry that you're gonna be hungry afterwards. I actually put this a lot on my customizable meal plan for people that are using my meal plan that just wants to eat like two meals a day. This is perfect because it will fill you up and you will not think about food afterwards. Again, guys, we did another easy meal. This one is, is even easier than any of the other recipes I've ever did. So I know you have to try it. Lentils are cheap, potatoes are cheap. This is a really good budget-friendly meal. Thanks again, guys, for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and click the little bell so you can get the reminders for whenever I post a new videos. And guys, I appreciate you so much and thank you again for joining me in my vegan kitchen. See you next time. Bye guys.